You cannot be cheap, you cannot be so cheap like this. Every time Dick and Harry talking to you, you are so cheapened. Why don't you tell him, don't talk to me. I'm a reasonable human being. If you want to marry me, please I'm sorry, somebody has already proposed to me. Please I'm sorry, don't talk to me. May Allah give you the one that suits you. That is respectable manner. You don't have to be abusive. No, 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 it's not bad. Use good word. Okay? But he talks to you, and you're just laughing all over the place. You're laughing. He has spoken to me. Wallah, he's one young man. He has a, he has a flashy car. He was so cheap. anti miskinatun Lion buggy. Tell him, don't talk to me. Go and meet my parents. If they say yes, okay, they are going to arrange for you to come and talk to me. Believe you me, if he is a reasonable young man, he picks interest in you more. He respects you more. Am I correct? Amam ba kabuza ki zamu kuchia kara sami. But Allah is Adi. Try to maintain your hate. Similarly, my younger ones, let's try to be. I'm talking at this at the juncture of. That quality or attribute number nine, wala is known. The scholars have defined zina as fi'ilul fahisha fil qubul aw fi dubur. Dr. Abdul Hilali, in a book, he was asked by Rabita to write, you know, an academically compliant research work on what is zina. So they went to the explanation that. Uh, even a woman, a woman, lesbianism, should be judged as zina. Some say no. That is more dangerous than zina. Similarly, man meeting a man, sodomy. That is not homosexuality. No, it's wrong English. Yeah. There is homosexuality, and then heterosexuality. Hetero. Okay? Why they call it homo? Because it's one. Man to man, a'udhu billah, woman to man. Okay. Hetaro, man to woman. They have even gone to the point of even saying, a man meeting an animal is zina. So the animal should be killed. But Ibn Abbas said, ah, what sin has the animal committed for it to be killed? All to tell you about the evil the danger of committing sinna. Wallahi, a true mu'min, a true mu'mina can never commit sinna. But then, they maintain patience until such a time when they are legitimately, legally, lawfully, licitly married. Okay? Wala taqrabu sinna. Similarly, masturbation is also condemned. Somebody marrying his hand or using some object to attain orgasm, to attain satisfaction. Of course, it's not zina, of course, agreed, but it's forbidden. We call this masturbation. In Arabic, istimna. Because the Quran says, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ إِلَّا عَلَى what? أَزْوَاجِهِمْ أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك أي وراء الزواج أو ملكت أيمانهم masturbation is وراء ذلك yeah so this is an important quality there are many things that guide people to zina أعوذ بالله careless appearance by women Make up, attending parties, nightclubs, hotels, watching bad films, pornographic materials. So also, 
mentally terrorized and literally walks. James Hadley chased and erased. Ikebe Lulu and erased. The some boys read and girls as well. Be careful. You are torturing your mind, your heart. Even your future is being threatened. Control your gaze. You have seen a woman, she attracts you, take away your eyes. You have seen a man, he attracts you, take away your hand. Read the Quran 24, 30, 31. ذلك أزكى لهم إن الله خبير بما يصنعون. Tell the believing men to control their gazes. The first look, no sin. If you do it again, it's sinful. Concerning the women, to avert zina, it's not even lawful to expose your beauties, your glitterings, your ornaments, your beauties should be exposed to only 12 people according to Quran read Quran 24-31 please read with me وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِنَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا لِبُعُولَتِهِنْ أَوْ آبَائِهِنْ أَوْ آبَائِ بُعُولَتِهِنْ أَوْ أَبْنَائِهِنْ أَوْ أَبْنَائِ بُعُولَتِهِنْ أَوْ إِخْوَانِهِنْ أَوْ بَنِي إِخْوَانِهِنْ أَوْ بَنِي أَخَوَاتِهِنْ أَوْ نِسَائِهِنْ أو ما ملكت أيمانهن أو التابعين غير أولي الإربة من الرجال 11 أو الطفل الذين لم يظهروا على عورات النساء This is the number specifically mentioned in Quran 24-31 that it is lawful for a woman to expose her beauties to them and even on this there are some exceptions I don't have to translate please go to the translation Surah Al-Nur verse 31 for details because of time factor we have mentioned how many attributes of her nine so we have to remain how many I told you about 13 okay okay wala is noon he who does it Yalqa Athama will meet punishment from Allah. This is not an attribute but commentary. Yudaaf lahu al-adhabu yawm al-qiyamati wa yakhlud. Where are the Qur'an? Who read the Qur'an deeply? Is it fihi or fihi? Fi. That's beautiful. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Fihi, not fihi. Why? Why fihi and not fihi? And this is the only place in the Quran according to the riwayah of Imam Hafs where he has al maddul qasir fi ha is sakta. Just like Ibn Kathir al Makki, wa yakhlud fi hi muhana. In all this place. Imam Hafs. But Imam Warsh, Uthman ibn Sa'id al Masri says, fi hi. Just fi hi. So when you read this place, we, we, we couldn't hear you saying fihi, we know you have made, you have made a mistake. You have to say, يُضَعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَيَخْلُدُ فِيهِ مُهَانَ فِيهِ Not fihi. Okay? If anyone does this, he meets punishment. He will be thrown into the hellfire, and the punishment يُضَعَفُ will be double for him. إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Except those who have repented and they have believed and they have acted righteously. These are the exceptions to the rule. Allahu Akbar فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّرُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتٍ As for these categories, their deeds will be substituted but with good things Allahu Akbar may Allah give us the capacity to repent to be of repentance constantly Wallahi la buddha min at-tawbah qabla al-mawt Ya nafsu tubi fa inna al-mawt qad hana 
لمن ايها المغرور تحوي من الوفر الموفر والاثاث ستمضي شاعر لا دار للمرء بعد الموت يسكنها الا التي كان بعد قبل الموت يبنيها فان بناها بخير طاب مسكنه وان بناها بشر خاب بانيها you have no place to dwell after death except the house that you have built you have not built it well alive if your building was a good one you have a good place if it is bad wal jazao min jinsil amali wala yadlimu rabbuka hada so all these are commentaries then it goes on to say again after saying illa man taba wa amana wa amila amalan saliha fa ulaika yubaddilu Allahu sayyiatihim hasanat wa kana Allahu ghafurur rahim wa man taba wa amila salihan fa innahu yatubu ila Allahi mataba then attribute number 10 wal ladina la yashhaduna zur ibadur rahman do not bear false witness you tell a lie in a court of law just to be given a money do you know there are some people who go to court today they ask the litigant you know litigant yes hey what do you want i can go and perform ablution and swear by the quran i know everything and i know that you are going to win the case but how much are you going to pay me la ilaha illallah and he's lying every single kobo he has eaten he has eaten hell fire don't bear false witness ibadur rahman are not liars wa idha marru bil laghwi marru kirama attribute number 11 when they pass by frivolities marru kirama they pass by dignified not clear in this ayah two attributes they don't be a false witnesses and when they pass by the people doing plain wasting their times watching bad films okay arguing character assassinating people you know lying rumor mongering defamation and the like they pass by with dignity that is marru kiram let me ask you If a World Cup match is being played today a World Cup match being played today do people pay attention to it do they that's good when the prayer is being called do they usually leave their tv set to go and pray or they maintain their tv set because they don't want the match to pass them some leave it some you cannot make a categorical generalization let me ask you another question this is a goalkeeper in a football match and the opposite camp approach his camp wanting to score and the goalkeeper was ready and then he remember okay i have not played my asal so he leave the goal post he goes for prayer please answer me honestly has he done something right or wrong are you sure right Yeah. There is a rebellious voice saying <laughs> wrong. Okay. Those of you saying he has done something right, can you justify your answer? Yes, brother. Islamically, that's beautiful. And football khalifa. Okay. He said islamically is is okay. Yes, because we are Muslims. Let's face the reality. To me, he is wrong. To me, you ask me why, and I will answer you. First, what took him there? Go back, go back. I didn't move over. To Jeta, she did. 
What took him there first? Number two, by leaving the gold post at that critical moment can cost him his life. Believe you me. Some can kill him easily. So he is wrong to jeopardize his life. The mistake has been committed already by him. He shouldn't commit the second mistake of allowing himself to be taken away. Let him maintain the post and let him go and repent and not do it again. Do you understand my logic now? But prima facie, you say it is correct because we are Muslims. Alhamdulillah, we have our emotional attachment to our Islam. But let's be realistic. Then you may ask me, what's the hikmah of that? The hikmah is, today people have even taken football as next to God. Some people, believe you me. How many of you, young people, cram the names of football clubs? Chelsea, Real Madrid, Manchester United. And come on, come on, come on, come on. You know them. Cool. You see, they know the names more than they know even the Quran. You see young people, you know, wearing the t-shirt with the number of David Beckham, for example. That kafiri who abused Islam. You hear our young girls, answer, uh, young boys answering the name of Ronaldo, Rivaldo, and the rest. Some of you can tell us the first country to have first won World Cup. You can tell you. How much he is worth? He is the most expensive player in the world. He is most expensive. How much did he give you? How much? You are battling with your tuition fee in the school here. He gave you not a single cover. You are wasting your hours, your time, your precious... La ilaha illallah. I am not saying to play football is haram. It is haram and can be halal. We call this circumstantial fatwa, depending on the circumstances. We call it circumstantial fatwa or situational fatwa, depending on the situation. If, as an example, somebody has a backyard with a football court, he goes there and exercises his body every morning without any mixture girls and boys without exposing his thighs when the time of prayer comes he leaves it and goes and pray what is the judgment halal or haram halal, halal. but tell me in the professional soccer <laughs> سبيل الدموع سبيل